Hi, I built this、uh, homemade laser power meat, and the result is pretty good. So I want to share it with you. So this is my interface. I use as I use my iPad as interface, and、uh, my laser power meter can measure two channels. Um, I show the second channel so you can see the results from the first channel, and、uh, below is the channel configuration details. Uh, I said the channel one wavelength to six hundred thirty three wavelength、uh, nanometer because、uh, currently this laser power meter measures the power from this helium neon laser here. Also, the switch position is set to six. I will talk about this、uh, um, parameter later.、Uh, if you want to change the configuration, you can click here.、Uh, it will bring. Uh, to another page, and、uh, for example, if we want to measure the the green laser, um, we can change it the wavelength to like five four three nanometers, and click save. After three seconds, uh, it will go back to the home page, and you can see the uh value changes in the channel one. Obviously, this is not a green laser. Uh, we need to change it back, um, to six three three. I click here to go back to this one. Um, all this configuration will be saved, and the next、uh, time you power this uh, uh, this laser meter, and、uh, it will use the previous saved、uh, configuration. Okay, I will go uh go quickly about the entire system here. The entire system uh consists of three parts. Uh, this full diode. Um, the terminal board and、uh, a circuit board here.、Uh, for this full diode,、uh, I actually build another one here.、Um, I do not take the photos、uh, before I use super glue to、um, glue all things together. But actually, the internal circuit board is very simple.、Um, I have another another. Documents here.、Uh, this is a recommending recommended、uh, circuit from the Thor Labs.、Uh, they made this circuit for their、um, photo diode. I just、um, put this noise filter into this uh, uh, black box here and、uh, just wire the bias voltage out. So I can either use the battery to bias my photo diode, or I can use the the voltage from that circuit board to. Bias my photo diode. So this photo diode is this photo diode, and for the terminal resistor, I use this terminal resistor board here. I will show it later. So for this photo diode,、uh, I use the SFH206K from Osram. Uh, this photo diode is pretty cheap. I maybe pay like ten dollars for ten. Uh, photo diodes. So I use two here. So then I use the, the 3D printed kit to、uh, put all things together. For the terminal board here,、um, if you want to、uh, consider about the frequency, maybe you need to like think use a、uh, uh, 50 ohms resistor to terminate the circuit and measure the voltage. The measure the voltage because.、Uh, Um, you know the voltage, then you know the current here. But for me, I do not care about the、uh, the frequency. So I、um, build this、uh, terminal board and、uh, choose different、uh, resistors. Sometimes for current measure here, I choose a pretty large resist terminal resistor value here. So it will be very large and easy to measure. Do not need an amplifier. So. For this jack, I can like connect to the battery, and for this、uh, socket, I can connect to the circuit board. There's a switch here. If I switch to the up position, it will switch the bias voltage to this uh,、um, battery power. Otherwise, I will switch to the down position, and it will、um, bias the photodiode from my circuit board here. For this circuit board, it's very simple. It's just a、uh, uh, ADC. I believe it's ADS eleven、uh, fifteen、uh, from the Texas Instrument. Then it will turn the measured voltage 
from the terminator resistor uh, to this ESP32. ESP32, I set it as uh, access point mode, so I do not need a Wi-Fi router. Um, it will send the Wi-Fi out, and um, I just uh, connect to the Wi-Fi from this uh, ESP32 and uh, set the IP address to uh, current address. It will automatically uh, show the results. Mm. The next part I will talk about uh, uh, how to calibrate the data. Um, to measure the specific uh, um, power, we need to know about the this uh, resistor value because we measure the voltage here. Um, the voltage from this ADC is pretty accurate, so we need an accurate resistor. This resistor is not accurate enough, um, but uh, it give a uh, roughly uh, value. I think it's okay for our homemade laser power meter. The next part is uh, uh, to calculate the current because when you use the voltage um, divided by this uh, resistor, you get the current. And then you need to use the value provided from this data sheet to get the power. There are 16 pages, uh, I think it's 14 pages, it's not 16. And uh, here you can see uh, the sensitivity of this chip. At uh, 850 nanometers, it's about uh, 0.62 ampere per watt. That means um, you can use this value to calculate the power of the laser if the laser is at like uh, 850 nanometers and this data should also provide a curve here this is a relative spectrum sensitivity curve here so you can if you know this value this 0 0.2 uh, 0.62 ampere per watt at uh, 850 uh, nanometer and uh, you get the data of this curve and you can calculate uh, this uh, sensitivity value for each point. So I um, get all this data of this curve out and uh, calculate uh, this uh, sensitivity data at each uh, wavelength and uh, put all this data into this uh, uh, circuit. So this circuit, I can change the different wavelengths here. For the switch position, um, this switch position means uh, this actually, uh, which terminal resistor you use here. Uh, this is a zero indexed uh, um, resistor. So uh, this is zero, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. This is six. And also at that position, the board one is also uh, the switch is also at the sixth position. So this uh, are all about uh, this thing, this system, and this system is I think the results is pretty good uh, for this uh, helium Leon laser from the Uniface. I use uh, this one, the laser check to measure the um, power. The power is uh, around like six hundred sixty microwatts to 680 microwatts with this uh, uh, laser check. But uh, if you read the data sheet from this uh, laser check, you will know the error of this uh, this one is around 8% plus or minus. So it's it's actually, actually it's very large. Um, I use a label to label the power around like uh, six, uh, 660 uh, microwatts here, and if you, you read the data sheet for this laser, uh, it's uh, it says the uh, maximum power is around uh, 700 microwatts. So I think the laser power meter is uh, pretty okay, and uh, I will put all the information um, below this video. And uh, if you are interested in build a laser power meter by yourself, and uh, you can use this uh, photo diode to measure the laser because uh, I already uh, measure all this uh, sensitivity curve and uh, put into this video and uh, thank you.